Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, what I want to do is share with you the one supplement that can help you to lose weight. And let me tell you, in my professional experience, having taken care of thousands of patients, I've seen multiple people who've told me that they've lost as much as five to seven pounds over a two to three week period doing nothing more than adding this simple supplement. But wait, there's more. Because not only will you have the benefits of losing some weight, this one supplement that I wanna share with you will also help you to improve your blood sugar, to lower your cholesterol and cardiovascular risk, to improve the function of the gut, and to improve the function of your immune system and your ability to detoxify. So I'm gonna to cut to the chase here. What I'm talking about is psyllium husk. Um, this is a product that I have used personally for more than 10 years. There is so much science to support its use. And I can tell you it's probably one of the most economical uh, supplements as well, because this um, can of organic psyllium from Whole Foods costs about 11 or 12 bucks. And even at the higher dosages that I'm using on a daily basis, this thing is lasting me for a month and a half or two months. My name is Scott Resnick. I'm a medical doctor. I'm making these videos because I want to give you good information. This is the same information that I, that I shared with my patients in my functional medicine practice. Because as you become more well-educated, you can take control of your life. You can begin to make some changes that will turn things around and get you feeling great and living well. So first, what I want to do is go over some of the science to explain to you why psyllium husk is so important. To begin with, it's known as a non-digestible fiber. And if you're thinking or paying attention, you're going to go, hmm, if it's non-digestible, what's the purpose of it? Well, the whole point is that we as humans lack the ability to digest fiber, but we have bacteria that live in our gut that are able to break it down into smaller components. You're familiar with what's known as fats, right? And there are things known as longer chain fats. These are typically between about 16 and 24 carbon uh, atoms in length. And they're what's known as like, um, you know, olive oil or omega-3 fats. What happens is when the bacteria break fiber down into its smallest components, we get something known as short chain fatty acids. And these are short. These are maybe two to four carbon atoms per molecule. There's one in particular which is really receiving a lot of study, and that's something known as butyric acid or butyrate. What's cool about butyric acid is that we're learning that this is, is a small molecule that has really potent effects on any numbers of our, any different components of our biology. For example, we know that the short chain fatty acids are being found to be associated with the production of neurotransmitters. Um, we also know that when your immune system is bathed in these short chain fatty acids, what happens is your immune system basically tamps down, it becomes less reactive, more content, uh, less um, feeling like there's something that's attacking us. And all this is reflected ultimately in lower levels of inflammation in the body. The other thing that's cool about psyllium is that it acts mechanically as well and not just cellularly. It's been known for decades that fiber holds water into our stool. And as we consume more fiber, our stools seem to slide out more easily. So don't be surprised when you're using this supplement if you start having one or maybe even two um, easy bowel movements daily. And the last thing that psyllium does is it allows us to detoxify. And again, this is from a mechanical aspect where toxins are actually bound into the substance and excreted from the body. What I wanted to do was go over briefly how I like to dose psyllium. Now, I personally use slightly higher dosages. And what I'm gonna to recommend to you is that you start low and go slow. So for me, I use about a tablespoon and a half or maybe two tablespoons of psyllium daily. But for someone who is just starting out, that's probably gonna cause a little bit of bloating and discomfort, and I don't want it to discourage you from using this important supplement. So what I'd recommend is you start at about maybe a half a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon day, and uh, titrate that up pretty rapidly. And over a very short period of time, you are going to start experiencing all of the benefits of this important, inexpensive, and safe supplement. Of course, this is YouTube. I'm almost obligated to say, if you like this video, click, subscribe, comment. I'll be sure to respond to all of your comments personally. I'm making these videos for you to give you good information. And either way, I will see you in next week's video. Be well, and don't forget, start your psyllium. It's so important. All right, see you next week.